guys. So we are back from vacation. Um, we actually, today's Friday. We've been back since Monday. And it was hard to get back into the routine um, after being gone about, let's say we were gone three and a half days. We left Friday about, last Friday about 11, got home Monday at noon. And it was hard to get back into the flow with the dogs being gone. When you're on a routine and you're getting things going, especially with Magnum being a puppy, with someone else being here with them, which um, my mother-in-law did a great job, but just getting back into the routine with them and potty time and going to bed and when we're getting up, she was getting up at six in the morning with them. I don't get up till at least seven, seven thirty. Um, so getting them back into the routine I wanted took a little while and I've been exhausted and it took me a while to make a video and I wasn't posting on Facebook for a couple days because I was just exhausted. <laughs> Plus we were up early and going to bed late um, when we were gone so did a lot of relaxing but was just tired from that. It's weird you go on vacation to relax but then when you come home you're more tired with the laundry and the everything you got to do. Anyway, enough of that ramble. Hey, right, Mozzie, enough of that ramble. So, um, I thought I would use this video um, to show you guys how I'm crate training Magnum. Magnum, he's broke that. He broke the zipper on that. Pulling at the material. Yes, you did. You're a little stinker. And if you notice on my, if you're on my Facebook page, you saw that I said his ears are standing up. <laughs> Magnum, let's see if I can get a, get a look at the camera. Especially his left ear is standing up. Doesn't want to fold down. The right ear kind of folds at the tip. Magnum, hey, look up here, buddy. Yeah. So I don't know if it's going to eventually fold or not. A lot of people have been telling me to put medical tape on it and eyelash glue. And I don't want to mess with that. And I don't want him to have to... Um, deal with that so I'm just gonna let it go whatever God however God created him with his ears is how he's gonna be right yes so anyway so let me show you where he's sleeping I don't even I don't remember if I've shown his crate here's the boys here's Miggy and Marley's crates and the bottom ones are Max and Mozzie's. Mozzie's a little bit bigger because he was our first dog and we didn't know what size to get and we realized it was too big. So his is bigger than the other boys. And then here's Magnum's crate. It has a big fluffy insert to a bed, dog bed, that's just like the one I just showed you where he broke the zipper. I noticed he likes to be cuddled up and this one kind of goes up on the sides there and he sleeps better on this than just a regular crate bed. So he has that in there. So what I do is, since we have a small bedroom, I told my husband he's got to start making lots more money so we can get a bigger house with a bigger bedroom or another bedroom for our, just so the boys can have their own bedroom. <laughs> so I put it down there in front of the closet and then I get, I have the treats. Um, they're still labeled from our trip. I figure I'm just going to keep the labels on. Uh, for now, in case um, my husband and I were talking about going on a weekend up to Tawas, Michigan. So, uh, when my daughter doesn't have to work one weekend. So, I think I'm going to leave the labels on in case we do that. So, my daughter, she kind of knows already, but I figure I'll just leave them on there. So, these are the little treats I give them when I just throw them in their crates to when I take a shower if we're leaving somewhere. They're bedtime treats. And then these are the puppy treats that I've been giving Magnum. Uh, right now to train them so I'll leave a uh, link in the description box because I cannot for the life of me ever remember the name of these puppy treats so I'll put a link below um, so let me get my um, tripod so I can show you what I do okay so the first I can't um, set the tripod up so you can see my whole room so I'm just gonna have it face towards uh, Magnum's crate right now so right now I'm getting their treats um, that I give them when I put them in their crate. And usually when they hear the noise of the jar opening, they'll come running in, which a couple are already on the bed and Magnum's standing right next to me. <laughs> so, 
Mozzie, come on, let's get in your house. So the first thing you want to do is always have whatever you're going to say um, to let them know it's time to get in their crates. I always say, let's get in your house. So, um, are you okay, Magnum? I thought he was going to throw up. So you always want to have something you say so they know it's time to get in their house. Come on, time to get in your house. Magnum, you're in the wrong house. That's Max's. Come on, Max. Come on, Mozzie. Mozzie, don't. Come on, Mozzie. Okay, so Max and Mozzie are in the crate. And as you can see, Magnum already knows he's going to go in his crate, but I always give these boys a treat first, get them locked up. Okay, let's get in your house. Let's get in your house. I always put my arm in there way back to throw his treat. Sometimes I gotta pick up his feet. But he goes straight in there because he knows he's getting a treat. Let me get my camera. Okay, so he's in his crate, which I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get one like the other boys um, crate. I kind of like these ones. This is totally off subject, but these crates have like a little lip uh, here and my boys, a couple of my boys have had their feet um, caught in them because when you open the door, see if you can see, see this piece right here that sticks up? They've gotten their feet caught in those. Um, so I don't know if I'm just going to get a, if I'm going to get one like that for Magnum. I wish I had the money to switch them all over to big crates like this that don't have that lip. Um, Max got his foot, his bad foot of course, stuck in it one time and Mozzie got his stuck in it and he, when they do it, they keep wanting to get in their crate and, they, and, it, and it's hurting them. They don't know what to do when I try to pull them backwards to get their foot uncaught, they fight me and it's horrible. So maybe one day I can switch them all over to um, bigger crates like this because this one's probably going to be a little bit too small when Magnum gets bigger. I'll have to wait and see. Um, but maybe I can switch them all over to these because they do not have that lip like that so they can't catch their feet in it. It's horrible. I should have, if I would have known um, that that was going to happen, I wouldn't have ever purchased these. So um, if you're looking into getting crates for your dogs, I would go with these kind so you don't have that lip there that they can catch their feet in. So anyways, totally off subject. <laughs> I was just thinking about that the other day, um, about trying to get them some new crates. So anyways, for those of you who think crating, um, your dog is bad. Here, Miggy, get in here. Cause you're going to have to get in here for a minute. Come on, Miggy, come on. Um, you're going to have to be in there for a minute when I go out and water flowers. If you think crating your dog is mean and horrible, it's not. This is keeping them safe, and dogs are naturally a done animal. They like their crates. They can't wait to go to bed at night. Um, I catch them in their crates sometimes just laying in there, getting away from things and sleeping. Even Magnum I caught in, because um, his door, because of the type of bed that I have in there, doesn't open all the way. I caught him in Marley's bed sleeping um, a couple times. So... Crates are not horrible unless you use a crate to punish a dog, which I would never punish a dog in a crate. Um, they like their crates, and I know where they're at, and I know they're safe if I'm outside watering flowers, um, if I'm in the shower, um, especially with the puppy. With the bigger boys, I wouldn't put them in there if I was taking a shower much because I trusted them for the little bit I was in there, but with a puppy... I got to be able to know what he's doing. And if when I'm in the shower, I can't. Um, when I'm gone to the grocery store, um, if we're going to be gone longer than four or five hours, no one's going to be home. I have my mother-in-law or my mom swing in, let them out, go to the bathroom, play a little bit, put them back in till we're home. They're never in their crates all day long. So crates aren't a bad thing. And um, say we're in the middle of the night, my house catches on fire. God forbid. Um, I know right where my dogs are. I don't have to look for them, uh, try to find them. And, and if the house was on fire, they're going to be scared and try to hide. I know where they are. I could fling this window open and fling them outside. You know, I mean, I, I know where they're at. So, and I'm looking into, I know you could get stickers for your windows to put on 
to let him know that an animal's in this room um, and how many and what kind of animal. So I need to look on Amazon um, to see if they have something like that. Somebody was telling me about that. I'd never seen them before. So if I find a link for that, if I find one on Amazon, I'll put it in the description box below. But I thought that was a great idea because if we're gone, if the house catches on fire, they're looking, uh, you know, at the windows or whatever or trying to get in to stop the fire, they'll see there's animals in here. So anyways, but that's how I create them, tra create, train them. I just say that phrase, let's get in your house. They know. Um, he's, he's starting to know now. He knows when all the other dogs are getting in their crate that it's time to get in their house and he knows he's going to get a treat. So and just give him a little treat. Nothing, t you know, big or you don't want him to be getting fat, you know, if you're putting him in their crate a lot. But they're only in their crates at night when we go to bed and maybe a couple times during the day for short periods, uh, just for safety reasons. So anyways, that's what I do. Magnum's getting the hang of it and he's doing good going to bed at night. We go to bed about 10, 30, 11 o'clock and as long as he goes pee and poo before he goes to bed, let's see if you can see him in there. Um, he sleeps through the night. He sleeps till 7, 730. Um, and can hold it. So he's doing really good. So anyways, I'll, if there's any other questions you have on crate training, um, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's simple. And you got to have patience with a puppy. Patience is the, the biggest thing you have to have. And sometimes it gets frustrating because I've been frustrated many times, especially with Magnum, because he's, he's really a little stinker. I mean, I thought Miggy was a little stinker and still, he still is a little stinker sometimes, but Magnum, I think he's going to be the problem child. And I think <laughs> he's like one of those dogs. If I would have got Magnum first, I probably wouldn't have four other dogs. <laughs> Sad to say, but he's a little stinker, let me tell you. But he'll get better. He's going to grow out of it. He's only going to be three months tomorrow. So I have to remember that. And we all have to remember that with our pets. That you got to have patience with animals. Because they only go by our emotions. And, and they, they look to us um, to what to do. So... Anyways, I hope everybody had a great day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.